Let's talk about annuity. This is when an investor expects to receive a fixed amount of interest for a number of years. So one expects to receive $100 every month or $1,000 every year for 20 or 30 years. Because the interest is uniform, you can get the present value just using what we call an annuity. The formula is given as future value may multiply by 1 less 1 divided by 1 plus r raised to the power n all divided by r. PV is the present value, FV is the future value, r is the rate of interest and n is the number of periods. You can also use the annuity table as we had for the discount table. Again, the rule that is the horizontal is the percentage rate otherwise known as the cost of capital. The vertical being the column is the number of years that the fixed amount of interest is supposed to be received. So let's test our understanding. We are supposed to work the present value of $500 receivable in a year's time and thereafter every year for a total of 8 receipts with an interest of 12% per annum. So here they are supposed to receive $500 for eight times starting after the first year. So the formula is future value multiplied by one minus one divided by one plus R raised to the power N divided by R. So it will be $500, which is the amount to be received every year, less one divided by the one plus 12% raised to the power of the eight years divided by the rate, which is the 12%, which will give you 500 multiplied by 4.968. So the annuity factor is what we worked in the brackets. When you multiply by the future value, it will give you $2,484. So if you receive $500 annually for eight times, it is equivalent to $2,484 now. If you use 12% at eight years on the annuity table, it will also give you 4.968. We test our understanding again. A man expects to receive $1,000 in each of five years, with the first receipt being in three years' time. You are supposed to look at the present value of the receipt if the interest is 20% per annum. So the discounting factor for one to eight years using the annuity table will be 3.837. That is the first eight years. Because he's going to receive it after the third year, we will look for the annuity factor for three years using the table give us. So the present value will be 1,731, which is $1,000 receivable every year after the third year for eight years, multiplied by the annuity factor. Okay. Let's look at perpetuity. The annuity is when we know the number of years we are supposed to receive the fixed interest or fixed amount for. Perpetuity is when you are receiving the fixed amount for an indefinite period in the future. That's the difference. Its formula is the present value being future value divided by the rate. So PV is the present value. R is the rate of interest. When we test our understanding, what is the present value of $5,000 receivable in a year's time and thereafter in perpetuity with an interest rate of 12% per annum. The formula is present value being equal to future value divided by R. The future value is $5,000 divided by 12, which is 0 0.12. So it's $41,667. So here there's no perpetuity factor to work out. So there's no table to be provided.